Hello, it's the Imperfect Gardener here. And as my plants have been getting bigger, my seedlings indoors, and I'm really excited about it, one of the things that I've had to do is start repotting them. So, for example, here is a tomato plant that I've taken out of the little pot. Oh, you can't see it. And transplanted it into this larger pot, okay? And I have a whole bunch of them up here that I've done that with. Some of them are bigger than this one. Um, the problem is, uh, once you start putting your bigger ones out, then suddenly, uh-oh, I need more space. I don't have enough space. So what I did is I took my uh, two lights that I had. I had these lights up here, and I have two of them on the shelf. There's one here, and if I lift this up, you can probably see that there's one behind it. Okay, right here. Behind this, I have another set of lights. And so what I did, I originally had them right next to each other, and so now I've just spread them apart, and I'm going to try a trick that somebody else um, said that you could do with your lights is to put some tin foil straight over it. So what I did is down here, whoop, I'm going to make you dizzy, you know I always do that. Um, on this shelf down here, I've already taken tin foil and taken it and put it in between the two lights to make sure that they are hitting all of my stuff right here. Now, my question is, do I really need to do that? Because I'm not sure. Uh, whoops, you got dizzy again. See, I'm not really good with this thing. Whatever. Um, if I turn the lights on up here on this top one, you'll be able to see that, whoop, I can't see anything because it totally blinds you. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but I feel like in here in the middle where there's not a light, there's about, I don't know, six inches inside here in between my two lights, about six inches that is not um, under the light directly, but I still feel like there's light getting on those. But just in case, you know, I'm not entirely sure, I'm going to go ahead and put some tin foil over that to try and give a little more light to make sure the light's hitting everything. And that's, that's giving me a wider space of my shelf. I get to use the whole shelf. And so that I can, um, you know, get light on everything. I have more stuff I can put in big pots. Um, some of them didn't look real happy today when I was hard to tell for sure. Oh, no, maybe that was just the light on it. Look at this little one's growing. Isn't he cute? I have to turn this light off or you can't see him. There he is. He's growing nice and big. He's a beautiful tomato. He is going to be a early pick tomato. Yay! And I think he's doing a nice job. He's looking a little bit droopy today, but he is one of the ones that was on the edge sticking out like about here where the, the light wasn't right on it. So hopefully fixing this light problem will make him perk up and go straight up in the air the right way that he's supposed to. So I'm just taking a big piece of tin foil like this and taking it and putting the shiniest spot, the shiniest part down and uh, taking it on here and we'll see if it works. Hopefully everybody will be living and growing wonderfully. Um, before I do that, though, I should show you how some of our stuff is doing down here. you got to see this. Uh, I wanted to show you the broccoli. Oh, my gosh. That I have transplanted, and it's doing really good. Um, this, though, isn't the broccoli, but I've got... La, la! It's so pretty. We've got green peppers growing. We've got uh, eggplant growing. One's in the middle of green peppers. We've got celery coming up. And the broccoli that I did... And then I transplanted already into a little bit larger pots. This is bro both broccoli and cauliflower. <gasps> Look it! That is going to make a gorgeous salad someday. You're going to love it. It's beautiful. And uh, I'm excited because they're growing really nicely. I did notice that you have to move things around too, by the way, because... The broccoli, the cauliflower um, aren't growing quite as tall as fast as the tomatoes. Tomatoes grow tall faster. And so if you have to move the broccoli and cauliflower to a different shelf where the lights are still down a little lower, and I've had to lift the lights way up high for these tomatoes so that they're not touching the light bulb because we don't want them to burn. So far, so good. All right, have fun gardening. Did I say I'm the imperfect gardener? I don't remember. I'm the imperfect gardener. But I look pretty great, don't I? They're growing well. Have fun gardening.